Yeah, I'll react to that, sure. Hey guys, what's up? My name's Connor, Rhode Island, New England, US in that order. I like to learn about history through YouTube stuff. Let's go. History Matters, great channel. Fantastic. Ch There's a new over one day ago, 3.54 million views. I'll react to that too. Let's go. Uh, why didn't Spain get more in the scramble for Africa? I did not know they had any. Let's find out. My name's Con I said that. Original link to the video, top of the description below, right below that, link to the Discord, right below that, link to my second channel where I do more non-history related stuff. By the way, if you, when you, when you join the Discord, all right, I messed up. I, I'm trying to figure out, uh, you know, the verification button that gives you the first roll. Just don't worry. I'll check every day to see um, in the in the welcome channel to see you joined, and I'll upgrade you. I'll I'll promote you to the first roll. All right. Uh, all right. Let's start. The world's most successful imperial powers, having conquered much of South America, huh? the wealthy. Okay. Go. Spain was one of the world's most successful imperial powers, having conquered much of South America. The wealth it gained from this empire made it Europe's most powerful nation for a time. But in the late 19th century, when the great powers of Europe opted to carve up Africa between themselves, Spain, despite its history, was only apportioned these lands. Which raises the question, why? Despite its history, was only apportioned these So Western Sahara, which is, is, isn't that Western Sahara? Which is pretty much nothing. Uh, those islands, though. A Azores? No. Cape Verde? I forget what islands those are, but... I mean, that's Western Sahara, which... I'm pretty sure it doesn't belong to Morocco. I think it's a... I don't think it's even a disputed territory. I think it's just, like, no one really owns it. There's nothing there except, you know, sand up to the coastline, I think. And then they got... I mean, they got... Bottom, bottom part of Gibraltar you know, top of Africa right there, and then Equatorial Guinea. Okay. These lands, which raises the question, why? Why didn't Spain get more of Africa? So a quick thing to note about the Berlin Conference. It wasn't something which created immutable borders that everyone agreed to and would stick to forever after. Hold on, hold on, so I'm sorry. So, Blues, France. Belgium, Belgium, I believe, got here. I don't think this is part of Spain. So that's Spain, Spain, Spain. Italy, I believe. Or maybe that's just Ethiopia and didn't get it. And Italy got Eritrea and Somalia. Djibouti, I think, went to France. Um, Germany, I think, has Angola or Namibia and Tanzania. And then you got England, uh, the UK, all of this. Who has Sierra Leone or Liberia? And something which created immutable borders that everyone agreed to and would stick to forever after. It was just a forum to set out principles and let countries work it out between themselves, hopefully without warfare. And the reason why Spain didn't get much was fairly simple. It didn't meet the two criteria the countries involved in the conference had largely agreed to. The first of which was a nation's historic claim to any of the land. If you previously had any outposts, forts or settled any regions, you'd have a strong claim. And this is where Spain fell short. As many of you will know, when Europeans were exploring the world and seeing which parts of it they wanted for themselves, the Spanish and Portuguese reached a deal. And this was formalised under the guidance of the Pope in the Treaty of Tordesillas, which split the world into two. The Spanish half and the Portuguese half, which you'll notice contains Africa, hence why Spain never made much of an effort to settle or conquer it. I thought now, that was just about the, the Eastern Hemisphere, about the New World. I, I didn't know that was the... This contains Africa, hence why Spain never made much of an effort to settle or conquer it. Now, Spain did have some lands in northern Africa which were respected by the conference, and it also had these lands off the western coast which under an agreement with France became this. This was basically all Spain would get, but as you'll note, there were many nations which had zero history in Africa that also got territory. For example, Belgium, which had many nations... Eyelids and how you draw them can just portray so much. Okay, man. All right. This is great. They're just like, um... 
nations which had zero history in Africa that also got territory. For example, Belgium, which had only existed for like five minutes at this point. And there were also states which did have historic links to the region, like the Netherlands, who got nothing. And the reason why is the second criteria, which countries could enforce their claims. The Dutch had a claim to southern Africa, but it was currently under the control of Britain, who needed it to keep shipping lanes open to India. And Britain was more than willing to fight a war to keep it that way. Spain, to use a technical term, was broke by this point. That was my original thought at the beginning, I would be... It just wasn't nearly as powerful as it used to be at this point, and so didn't have the weight to throw around to get what it wanted. As such, Spain couldn't afford the immense costs of creating and defending any large colonies in Africa, and it had done very little in the way of exploration. And for Spain, things only got worse after 1884. Spain's economy didn't improve for decades, the country was politically divided, and its international prestige was all but gone. Now, Spain did want territory, and hoped to gain more of it from Morocco whereas France had other ideas. France opted to acknowledge the Spanish claim to this and gave it economic access to Morocco in return for the Spanish helping them put down rebellions. And in the end, this was all Spain got. It didn't have any recognised historic claims to the continent, it didn't have the economic or military power to enforce any new ones, and unlike Belgium and Portugal, it didn't have the international goodwill to play the greater powers off of each other for their own benefit. I hope you enjoyed this episode and thank you for watching with the special... Thank you for making awesome History Matters videos. Some of you, I know, you don't like them so much because they, they're very skin, uh, biscuit, biscuit, tin, tin, biscuit tin deep. Is that even the one? Um, but that's part of why I love them so much, honestly, and I've been reacting for so much. This is like my 105th History Matters videos I've reacted to. I'm, I'm almost at a year anniversary, by the way, for my, my reaction videos. It was January 4th was my first one, and I'm coming on a year gonna do something nice i'm definitely checking out this oversimplified video all right awesome great see you guys next time